The product we're testing today uses technology that was invented in the 1940s when a hunter in the woods discovered cockleburrs. Wanna know what that is? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'm Brian Kirby here with Take Aim TV. In this episode, we're reviewing the Hook and Loop Pistol Mount by Alien Gear Holsters. This is basically a Velcro holster mount. Fun fact, Velcro was invented after a guy named George was hunting in Switzerland and discovered these cockleburrs stuck to his pants. He analyzed them under a microscope and poof, we have Velcro. Well, there's a little more to the story than that, but you can Google it. Since Take Aim TV has gotten started, we reviewed and tested a few firearm mounts over the years. This is probably the one that's the most simple to install. What you need is a flat or semi-flat smooth surface. Stick the included Velcro landing pad to any smooth surface, let it sit, and then you're ready to go. Make sure the surface is clean though for the install. You wanna make sure there's no oily residue or dust on the surface when sticking the Velcro to it. Obviously there's no tools required for the install. You don't need to drill any holes or anything, but you do have to let around 24 hours for the Velcro to cure against the dashboard before slapping the holster on. Three pads are included. This is designed to go pretty much anywhere. The main spots I tested this was in my truck and under my desk in my office. You can just leave the holster on the Velcro at all times, or you can remove the holster completely and take it with you. Comment below if you would use a Velcro holster. There are two options available when it comes to shell. You can use their modular shapeshift option or their cloak series shells, which is made out of heavy duty polymer. If you go with the cloak series, it's available for like 600 pistol options. They have a lot of variety when it comes to that. The Velcro really holds well. My main concern at first was gonna be, does it really hold the weight of a pistol over time? And I've mounted it under my desk and let it sit and it never once started to come loose or fell or anything like that. The holster stayed in place against the Velcro. When it comes to practical uses in the vehicle, underneath the dashboard on a flat surface would be nice, say if you're going on a long road trip and you don't wanna have the pistol in your holster the whole time, that's a great option. So you can do pretty much any angle you want when mounting it to the Velcro, but the one part where it's limited is on the way the, the pistol grip faces. It's gonna be the same way no matter what. You can't flip it upside down and Velcro it the other way. If you know you want your grip facing a certain way though, you can choose right or left-handed, so that way you can get that desired positioning. I tested this holster a few different ways, on my desk, in my truck, and out of a bag that has Velcro on the inside. The holster did its job, but you have to remember too, with anything with firearms, you need to train with this style of, of mounting. You wanna make sure you can get your pistol out safely and get into the fight without risking injury to yourself or somebody around you. If you're gonna be removing the pistol from the holster on your waist, for example, to the docking holster, you wanna make sure you're following all the safety rules. Keep your finger off the trigger and watch where your muzzle's pointing at all times. If you're doing it in your vehicle, remember to be discreet. Don't be pulling your pistol out and making a big scene as you dock it. All right, just gonna go for a drive. Just a nice little stroll. Gotta get my gun out though. Hey everyone, got my gun. Gonna put my gun in my holster. Second Amendment rights. Got my gun. Guns in the holster, everybody. Did you see this gun dock? This is a sweet thing. I got a gun in my car. Hey everyone, I have a gun. Look at my gun. This is awesome. Yep, got a gun in my car. Got a gun. 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 That won't do yourself any good and you're just gonna cause public panic when it's not necessary. Another safety factor to keep in mind with this kind of setup is if you're around kids or strangers, you wanna make sure your pistol's out of reach. If you're mounting it to your desk, it may not be a good idea if kids can come in and play with it. I'm not gonna get into the debate on how guns should be stored around children, that's up to you. But me personally, I don't like to keep them within reach of kids and I prefer to keep it on my body or in some form of safe or stop box that they can't just instantly get access to. I get it, you taught your kids right, but you know what, kids do stupid things all the time and I'm not gonna take that chance. So here's some stats according to Alien Gear. The Velcro is put through high temperature intense testing to make sure that the Velcro stays put, especially like in a vehicle where it can get really hot. They don't want it, you know, falling off. Also, they did over 2,000 holster removals and the Velcro held strong. Now, I don't think I've done 2,000 holster removals yet, but from what I've seen so far, it's held pretty good. But hey, if something happens and it fails on you, they do have a lifetime guarantee, so send it back to them. They'll get you all set, fixed up for you. Also, they have a 30-day test drive, so if you don't really like this holster after you get it, you can send it back and get your money back. If you're on the fence between getting the shapeshift option or the cloak series option, let me break it down like this. The shapeshift is good for if you have a gun with no accessories on it or customization. 
and say if you may want to adapt it to some of the expansion packs that they have, like the inside of the waistband holster, shoulder holster, ankle holster, all those options. Now, if you just have a plain pistol and you may have a light or accessory that they have an option for, then go with the cloak series option. Those shells are swappable, so say if you sell your gun and you get a different one, you can order a new cloak shell and then you're covered. So if you're in the market for a pistol dock, check this out, this is a viable option. Me personally, I don't know how much I'm gonna use this just because I'm on the go a lot and I tend to just keep my pistol on my person so I'm not transitioning from one to the other. For more information on this dock, go to aliengearholsters.com. I wanna give a disclaimer real quick, they did send me this product for the review. They did not pay me to say anything positive. This isn't a guaranteed positive review just because they sent it to me. What I say may not be exactly what they wanna hear, but it could be used to improve future products. Special thanks to the Firing Pin in Bridge, New York, for the firing range we shoot at all the time. Great people over there, very friendly and accommodating. They have great deals on firearms, pistol accessories, and ammo. You gotta check them out, the Firing Pin in Bridge, New York. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Carbon TV and Instagram. Remember, stay aware, carry often, and I'll see you next time.